Hi guys, uh, this is Chandra Shaker. Uh, today we're going to discuss uh, how to create sub report that is in the crystal report in ASP.NET. And uh, in the last session, that is the other video, we saw how to create a sample uh, crystal report and how to call this crystal report uh, resource to our page. It's to our web page. And hope you guys can remember. And if you haven't seen the video, you can go back and uh, see the other video. Now, <clears throat> here what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another uh, crystal report. And in this report, we're going to do sub reporting. <clears throat> so let me term it as master reports. <clears throat> Click add. <clears throat> Once you have clicked add, now uh, just the same wizard comes through so I'm going to use this report wizard standard click OK and uh, you know uh, we established a connection if you don't know how to establish a connection please look to the previous video I think that would help you guys and here we're going to select a customers table again and uh, I've selected that one click next and here are the fields for the table customer and I'm going to select these uh, three uh, items or four items and click next now we don't need a uh, group by no need to filter any fields and if you don't know what is group by and filters uh, we'll see that in the forthcoming videos now you can select the styles for your uh, reporting uh, and uh, it can be the last one maroon and I'm going to click finish <clears throat> now you can see in the page header and in the that's that's your uh, table that is being displayed on the report this is just a kind of a, a preview that's it and if you want to have a real look of your crystal report you can go to the main report preview and this will give you a clear picture of how your crystal report is going to be and uh, I hope the customer ID is present yeah and now go to the section 3 details we and this step is really important because we're going to add sub report to this report a sub report is something like uh, a report having another report within it so here is our main report and right click inside the section 3 go to insert and click sub report once you click it you get a thing like this which will be following your mouse pointer place it in section 3 here a wizard comes this is quite interesting if you have another report that is being generated already you can add that report as a sub report to this main report now we're going to create a new sub report first we'll concentrate on that one we're going to give a name for that sub report we'll name it as sub report since the base report is called as a master report and check on this one on demand sub report this is uh, nothing but a hyperlink has been created on your master report and uh, you will come to know what is this hyperlink and how it is going to be displayed so wait and see click the report wizard and it's just the same set of uh, things that we're going to do again and here I'm going to get the orders table this is like I'm what I'm going to do is first the main report is going to be a customer report and the sub report will be a orders report now I will be connecting these two reports based on the customer ID so this is just an example so chill down <coughs> so here what I'm going to do is customer ID select ID order date sorry that is employee ID and the order ID ship name ship address blah 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 that's it that's more than enough and click next 
we don't need group by we don't need filters these are nothing but the additional features that you do in this normal SQL statement where you would have uh, done uh, group by and in the where clause you will be keep on fil filtering the data so filtering fields are nothing but your where clause and group by is the real uh, group by clause in your SQL statement click next I'm going to select something uh, different and click finish now go to this link <clears throat> and here is a place where you will add your link which one will be your link and we don't need it as of now and we'll click OK soon we'll uh, look into the links now right click on this now change sub report links in this sub report links we are gonna get this customer ID once you click on this customer ID this is the field that uh, needs to be linked with the sub report and uh, this is going to be the customer ID the ID if you have several uh, things that is being selected then your option keeps changing it so we're gonna uh, end here with the customer ID so click OK it's perfect now uh, we need to add this master report now everything is ready the master report is ready and we have created a sub report and that sub report is being hooked with your master report with the help of a link and the next thing is you can edit your report if you want this is going to be your sub report what we are seeing it and if you want to go back to your master report that is your main report this is the one and your report preview is something going to be like this and this is the link that which I was talking about that is the on demand the stuff that we saw a few minutes ago so this is the hyperlink that I was talking about so now we'll create a web page we'll just add a new item let it be default2.aspx just for simplicity go to toolbox and drag a report viewer then with the help of a smart tag just choose your report source and our report source is going to be the master reports.rpt so we're going to link this report source to our report viewer so everything is done everything is perfect but let's see runs or not <clears throat> hooray there it comes now if you click on this sub report it gives you the order that this customer has purchased a l f k i so this guy has made this many orders on this particular date and blah 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 the other details now you can swap through these reports that is you can play around with these reports now we are viewing the sub report if you want to go back to the main report here we go it's like this so just see <clears throat> there are seven pages like this and you can click any sub report and it gives you the data so it's pretty simple and straightforward hope you guys would have enjoyed this video got something out of it and uh, we'll meet with more uh, crystal reporting on the next coming videos see you bye bye